Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look at the euro currency again. So uh, in the weekend we have made a uh, long term analysis, take a look at the fundamental background that we have and come to conclusion that <coughs> overall uh, background stands not really very friendly for euro currency. So it has relation uh, as to European Central Bank recent uh, comments on the European economy as uh, recent data on the non-farm release. So as we have estimated, that although the numbers are really small, but this is not this has happened not due to some weakness, but uh, just to saturation of the job market in the United States. Uh, and uh, currently, the most important indicators of the uh, payrolls data is wage inflation and uh, unemployment rate. So as wage inflation has risen uh, more than 0.4%, uh, so this is really uh, faster than it was in the previous few months. Uh, as the unemployment rate has dropped, so we treat this result as a positive, and we think that this should make an impact on the euro currency. Uh, I mean, of course, the euro dollar uh, currency period. Uh, all this stuff uh, was the the background for our trading plan, which suggests downward continuation on this week. And in the beginning of the week, we said we will keep an eye on the clear bearish continuation pattern on the intraday charts. Target that we will follow uh, stands around 111.20. That's the first target that could be reached, and this is 127 extension of this most recent swing up. So it's relatively close, but still it's really not bad potential, approximately 150 pips to the downside. So this is uh, not bad, actually. Speaking about, about our stretch pattern that we have mentioned on Thursday, here, uh, when the market has hit the oversold, it was the major support on the weekly chart, and we said market should show the pullback. And indeed that has happened. Take a look, we said that the target will be when the dosk indicator, the trend at the stillator, uh, will hit the zero level. And this almost has happened. So we could say that stretch probably is done already. Now we need to search chance to go short. Uh, our suggestion was around possible darkest cheap to sell passion. And we said, well, Take a look at the pullback. The level that we'll be watching for stands around confidence resistance 1265, 1268. And so will be just very, very, very good if we'll get the kind of the ABCD action and we'll get here the guard is cheaper to sell right around the weekly pivot, uh, weekly pivot point. On the euro currency, guys, we uh, right now we have not quite clear the triple to sell, although this also could be treated as the triple to sell, but would not have the equal. A, B, C, D patient. Instead of that, market has hit the COP target of this A, B, C, bottom COP. This COP creates an agreement with the same confidence resistance. But if you will take a look at the follow time frame dollar index, you will see the perfect pattern that we actually would like to see on the euro as well. So you can see excellent first up, A, B, C, D retracement down, reaching to major 3 8 support. So that's the picture that we would like to get. And here, the, the, this is the moment where we could think about taking the short position on the euro, or if you trade on the dollar index, you can think about taking the long position here. Because currently market stands at such a level where actually technical pullback has great chances to happen. It means that even we will become wrong some in some way later, by some reason, market will just continue to move higher here. The first touch of this area probably will lead to some pullback. That is what we would like to get. And because this has led us to most starts to the break even. Uh, that's why we use usually strong levels for taking the position. Because if we, if, if we were wrong, uh, we still have chance to turn this trade and the break even. And this is really a big advantage for us. So that being said, here you could watch for a possible take in the short position probably. Uh, with moving stops to the break even when the market will start dropping to show 
some pullback at least for, for repeats probably and see what will happen next the same story on the dollar index besides on the dollar index guys you can see that thrust looks uh, smoother compared to what we have on the euro currency and then actually we have here is a kind of the brand body uh, look like uh, setup because if we'll take a look at the uh, through by three moving average you have the thrust stop drop directly to the third percent support yes market spend here more than the just three candles so the drop was really longer that's why I call it as a uh, brand by the lookalike patron but at the same time if we will take into consideration uh, the reason for that momentum that we have this was the strong fundamental uh, information especially this fast acceleration in the final point uh, of this thrust so the chances on the brand band that it will be at least the 618 pullback here actually stands not small so uh, that's another reason another trade that you could keep an eye on so that being said currently we do not see any problems with the setup that we have discussed in the weekly report uh, and uh, we'll be watching for a possible uh, for, for starting of the downward action here on the earth